Alright guys, I'm sorry, uh, my P2 card ran out of space, so I think where I left off was I was showing that like this comes out of the front. Alright, so when you turn it over like this, you got the, uh, this is my, my, my new one. So this like sits like this on the inside, so like you can see like, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws, and the screws are right here. One, two, three. Actually, one, two, one, two, yeah, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll see where the screws are, but my card had ran out of space and I didn't know it, so I took most of them out. So I think I got one more left right here. So unscrew all of your screws and, of course, sit them in a way that you will know where they are and how you can um, get them out. Okay, so the first part... What I do, get my flathead part or screwdriver again, and I like make sure all of these are not blocking the way to let the keyboard fall out. That's what those ridges were, were doing. And it looks like, okay, you got, no, these ridges, these ridges in the middle, they stay. Okay, so now what I did, I, I pressed down right here. You heard that little crunchy noise? It's actually loosening up the keyboard. See how the keyboard is coming out right here? Yeah, that's what you want it to do. So, ah, shoot. Okay, yeah, be careful when you're um, pulling this out because those little um, aluminum pieces will uh, get you. All right, so this little part right here came out, okay? And just pull on it some more, a little bit more. And keep bear in mind that you're gonna have to get these little ridges back in, all right? Like, it's not like anything serious. Like, I guess I'm explaining it wrong. There, there's like little clips that like slide in. So when you put the new keyboard in, they're gonna slide in. So, okay, so now our keyboard is out halfway. But um, this part right here has to come out. Okay, so we could just pull it out. That just pulls out. But what I'm going to do is, before I pull it out, I'm going to actually lift this up. Because this, um, it's impossible to slide this thing back in with this plastic part right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. This plastic part right here that's covering up the whole thing. It's covering up, so I take this off. Take the plastic part off because you can put it back on with scotch tape secure it sit it to the side because we're definitely going to reuse that it's on there for a reason all right so this comes out you just pull it out like this part right here does not snap up and it is a little bit difficult and i don't i don't like to yank anything out and use dremels on anything so you just pull it out and you can see that now once you pull it out you got the same thing that you have here see you got a blue strip on your new one focus you got a blue strip on your new one and you got a blue strip on your old one <coughs> same thing old out with the old in with the new all right and like I said you still got the back you didn't dremel that out the keyboard fell out of the front all right let me zoom back out like I said you didn't dremel out the back the keyboard came out of the front like so like I told you it came out of the front all right so let's start replacing this this uh, keyboard here this is the part that um, I hate Okay, so what I do is I lift this up, this little tab right here, because it has to slide through this small, 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 small hole. So I lift this up and I kind of bend it a little bit so that it can go through the hole. Um, sorry about that. Bend it a little bit. Okay, so now look at the back. All right, so we're, we know that this 
flap right here goes through this and this flap right here goes through that part right here a little small so we put it in boom you see I got it coming through the front the flap and the smaller one is obviously harder to get through because why because it's smaller okay all right so I got both of them in actually I, I locked up by bending that up okay so now we're gonna um, put these gonna lock it back in by tilting see when you put this in you tilt it you tilt it and then it goes in right my ridges my grooves are almost in okay grooves almost in and okay that's parts in that parts in and see I gotta take it back out because that part fell back out okay all right so gotta get that in okay so it's in all right so what I like to do when I get to this part I, I like to kind of like secure it back I, I what I did was I just pushed this in and I kind of like slide up a little bit yeah and it locks those ridges in so what I'm gonna do now since I got it in I'm gonna replace some of those screws I'm gonna put some of those screws back in so that uh, the keyboard is kind of secure while I'm doing the rest of the part while I'm doing the rest of, of this uh, max surgery is what I like to call it. Damn. Yeah, it's a little difficult getting it in here. A little difficult. I might run out of space again on a P2 card, but it's okay. So I'll come back again with another part and show you guys the rest. Okay. See, it keeps on coming out. So you gotta like finesse it. You know, you gotta like finesse it in the the right way. Okay. Got it. Got it in. So. I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna put some of these screws back in so it holds in place while I'm doing the rest of this. Oh, I switch back to the right um, screw here. I'm gonna put a few of these back inside. So like I said, so it holds in place while I'm doing the rest. A few of these little screws right here. Spread them out. See, you? see, like we're halfway there, believe it or not. Like this, we're actually um, this this whole part up to here was like pretty simple, you know what I mean? So right now, this is the hard part, getting these little two guys to go in. So now that we got this off, this this part right here, you, you gotta like push this in here, and you gotta thumb it. Like what I like to do is, you gotta thumb it in. And you have to push it in all the way. You have to push it in all the way or else this will never, never work. So you just work that in. You keep on working it in until you see the whole blue part disappear into that little, like, that little groove right there. So mine is halfway there. Actually, not really halfway there. This takes a little while. But anyway, um, let me put this small part in first. I don't know. I don't remember how I did this to the first one, but um, I'm going to do it. I might put the camera on pause or something. But anyway, yeah, I'm not going to go through all this. And I'm going to put the camera on pause and thumb mine in. You know, just go 